again, Mabel, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, finally, I'm going to talk about something that I am very passionate about that I have been practicing and doing for several years now, four years to be exact, no other than yoga. So guys, medyo pasagdahis ako ninyo nga, medyo mag-English-English ko karun ha. Karun rabi tao gyud ni. Um, it's just because my yoga influences are all English-speaking people. These are people I don't know. These are teachers from YouTube. So, I just want to get in the zone and be in that yoga moment. So, probably akong masurya na mga terminologies is in English. So, di rin saan siguro kayo ninyo ikalain, no? And if marong grammar ko, uh, i-correct na lang siguro ninyo sa comment section kung unsa akong historia na bilim ako. Okay? In my other video, I have already mentioned about my back pain journey and how yoga was able to help me overcome the back pain. I started being a fitness enthusiast, self-proclaimed, when I was 19 years old. So that is when I started to be more active and to focus on my diet. Uh, but back then, I was just a cardio girl. So mahilig tayo sa Zumba, sa aerobic, sa Taibo at that time when I was 19. Busy ang Taibo, no? So that went on. But then in 2015, I started to explore other workout options such as strength training. Try lang. So I started body weight exercises, squats, lunge, and then I tried lifting some smaller weights and then it progressed to little heavier dumbbells. But then, unfortunately, in 2016, as I'd mentioned in my back pain video, I had a severe flare-up of my back pain which prompted me to abruptly halt try lang, halt or stop my regular uh, workout activities. Imagine super kaka-active and then immediately you need to stop your activities just because you can't bear the pain. That got me very very frustrated and um, confused as to what am I going to do next because again, I cannot do all my workout. I cannot even walk properly. So that is when I, you know, scrolled Mr. Google again, trying to figure out ways how to return back to normal. And then I stumbled upon yoga practices. The very first yoga video that I tried was from a channel called Yoga with Adrian. Shout out. That's way back in 2016. It's yoga for back pain. So that is when it all started. Eventually, even after my back pain subsided and I went on to my regular workout, I still continued to do the yoga part as a stretching, calming. But then I got a little more curious because when I started to do yoga, I find that there are poses that I cannot do. And then that challenged me and got me curious so I tried to search for more videos and tutorials as to how am I going to be able to do the poses that I cannot. So eventually, one video led to the next and then it led to the next until I completely fell in love with it. So just a disclaimer, the things that I'm going to say in this video is not a professional advice. I am not a yoga teacher and in no way I am a professional. I just had one yoga session with a yoga teacher and that is it and that was like very very beginner like the very basic of yoga which i really sorry i i got bored because at that time i was already doing like more advanced level and then i had to practice the the very starter kit i have to start at the very basic so i decided just to practice at home and here i am now four years later still a beginner <laughs> I still consider myself as a beginner just because I don't have any formal session. I had I didn't attend any formal classes. For one, it is very inconvenient for me because uh, the yoga studios, syempre, in Cagayan de Oro, they're not near. Medyo kalat kalat siya. Most importantly, the sessions and the enrollment in these studios is not cheap. The kulipot and the lazy person in me, murag. Uh, sariling sikap na lang tayo, besh. So, this video is for my friends, my colleagues, for all of you out there. Kilala ko man kayo o hindi. 
who want to start your fitness journey but you know don't like the hardcore workout na mag lift of weights or mag dagan or mag treadmill and would want to start you know mellow just a little movement subtle then yoga is perfect for you yoga practice at home is very very convenient nowadays because of the pandemic i don't know if there are yoga studios around the city in our area or in other areas of the country that are open even gyms so guys we have no choice we have to do it on our own the tips i'm going to share to you in this video are based from my personal experience when i started up yoga all right so this may be helpful information to you if not you can share it with others or if you have additional tips that you can share to us Please type it in the comment section below so that you can also share to me and to others who might want to know more about starting yoga practice at home. So here are my six tips for those beginner yogis that would want to start their very first yoga practice at home. My first tip is to get the basic equipment that you might need in your home yoga practice. So in an ideal world, in a yoga studio, I know that there are a lot of equipments that is being used. Um, I haven't been really immersed in a yoga studio, but I can see in the video there are yoga blocks, yoga straps, a lot of yoga things. But the things I'm, I'm going to share to you are just the basic. First is to have a yoga mat. Okay, so morag basic man siya no sa mga mag-practice og yoga na naajud ta yoga mat. Morag mo gina siya ang epitome sa pag-practice og yoga, having a yoga mat. You can buy yoga mat in different ranges. I bought my first mat at around siguro 130 plus kay nakabuy one take one siya. So I split it with my colleague. Shout out to Gio and Lim. Kumusta na atong yoga mat ya besh? Nagamit na ba nato or bago pa lang ayo siya? I'm using my second mat now, which I bought for around over a thousand pesos. So, ingana lang siya. Ay mas mahal, around two thousand plus, three thousand, depende sa kabagaon, the brand. Um, it all depends upon your preference. I did my first few years of yoga with a not so good quality na yoga mat. But, you know, it didn't matter. Mahimo ramang yapon, so it gets the job done. Second equipment is, of course, in lieu of a yoga teacher, you must have something to guide you. So most of us probably have our phone, laptop, iPad, tablet that we can download um, yoga videos or we can just scroll at YouTube anytime. I learn all my yoga practices through YouTube videos alone. Okay, so that is where I started from my very basic to the more complex yoga practice. So very very convenient for everyone another equipment that is not necessary but i know that it will be very very useful in your practice is to have a mirror for feedback okay importante na makita nato ang atong form how we do it we can compare our poses to the one that is being shown in the video we can improve this poses kay makita nato atong kaugalingunod personally that is how i corrected myself that is how i improved things by looking at the mirror constantly and improving my poses constantly this also applies with any other workout having a mirror for feedback is very very important it's not necessary but for me because i'm so used to it it's really important that i have it um fortunately if you can see my workout videos no dako kaayo ang among mirror na asasala na mo that's courtesy of my mother that's not for workout purposes uh, for for aesthetic purposes sa among balay the next thing that you might need when you start your yoga practice is not a thing it is a virtue you need a lot of patience and i mean a lot of it because yoga is not like our usual common workouts na busy, na hardcore, na out of breath. Um, it's more on subtle, holding the poses for a certain amount of time, and then inhale, exhale. Dili ni mong feel na nag-workout ka. Just trust the process. Bring a lot of patience and you will reap the benefits of yoga. So that's my first tip. Just get all the equipments you need. If you have other equipment suggestion, please comment it down below. Para siguro mapatulan sa siguro na nako no. Talipon yun na nako. My next tip is to start with a doable practice. 
Okay? So, dili lang sa siguro ta mga ambisyon nga magtambling-tambling na ta diretsyo. So, start with what we can do today so that we can improve tomorrow. Parang <laughs> purang speech sa graduation. But really, guys, there are a lot of poses in yoga that would seem very, very easy. But when you try to do it, you know, there are a lot of muscle movements and a lot of requirements and deep breathing and so much flexibility. Just start with the doable practice because we are practicing at home without a teacher. Let us protect ourselves. Let us be careful. And by starting at the very, very beginning, the easiest practice, then I'm pretty sure that you're on your way to more advanced practices. There are a lot of videos out there ranging from, you know, five minutes to full hour or to two hour practice. You can also do yoga in bed, standing yoga, hands-free yoga. There are a lot of things, a lot of things for different practicers. So just choose the best option for you. Start with a doable practice at first and build on that. So my next tip is to follow instructions carefully. I saw the board yung taani kung mag-follow taong yoga YouTube videos. It is because with yoga, there are movements that require uh, certain foundations of movement. So there are foundations of yoga that you need to do first in order to achieve that pose. So the teacher would tell you to inhale, exhale, or to tighten your belly, or to strengthen your quads to raise your right hand or raise your left hand do this on your right side do this on your left side it is very important to follow this instruction also because we're doing it on our own to protect ourselves to prevent injuries because we don't want injuries when we're doing workouts at home my next tip in doing your yoga practice at home is to check your form Again, since we don't have a yoga teacher to do it for us and to correct our form, we have to do it ourselves. That is why I am highly recommending you having a mirror for feedback or any other gadget. If you have an extra camera, a phone, or a laptop that would serve as your mirror, it will be very beneficial to you so that you can see yourself from a different perspective and you can improve this poses, you can improve this form because, you know, with yoga, you cannot achieve it overnight. With my own personal experience it takes years just to really really see the perfection of one form and even then you cannot even tell if you really did it correctly so it is important that you have something for feedback so that you can also compare your pose the pose of the instructor in your video having said that i would also like to emphasize that we all have different anatomy we all have different bodies so my pose might look different from your pose or from the instructor's pose. In yoga, it's always find what feels good. It should not hurt, but it should challenge you a lot. The next tip is just a reminder to those who have already tried yoga. And for those who have not, this is an FYI for you. Without proper breathing, it is not yoga. One of the most important components of yoga is breathing. Do not be surprised or do not be awkward if the instructor in the video would tell you to inhale in and exhale out, extend your inhalation, extend your exhalation because that is one core part of yoga, breathing. And even if it's not yoga, guys. it anchors all the poses it makes things much much more easier it helps you achieve more flexibility and strength with yoga breathing my last and final tip is probably one that you have heard many times before but i'm just going to put it out there consistency is the key okay you cannot do the most complex poses overnight if you can <laughs> But for my personal experience, it took me several years to do even just the intermediate level poses. And there's still a lot of poses that I've been trying to do, like doing the handstand that up until now, um, okay? So that's why I'm still practicing even after four years, I'm still doing it on my own. If you can do it every day, that would be so great. I've tried it for a couple of weeks, everyday yoga. My God. It's very exhilarating. Basta, itry lang yun ninyo, guys. Itry lang yun. I know some of my friends are starting to do yoga. And bravo to you, guys. Padayon lang yun mo. Dapat dilit lang yun. Let's start somewhere. 
yoga can be as easy and as hard as you want it to be and you'd be surprised what your body can do with the regular yoga practices i myself and a lot of others are testament that you can really really do yoga at home just be careful follow the tips enjoy the journey and most importantly challenge yourself so that's it for this video guys i hope you have learned something and if not okay <laughs> son if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not already please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so that you will be notified every time i upload new videos so that's it for now guys and let us all stay safe in the comforts of our home until the next one